It's been one of the bitterest and most drawn-out battles within the NHS, the plan to cut the number of children's heart surgery units in England. Doctors agree it will lead to improved care, but Leeds General Infirmary felt its unit was wrongly identified for closure. On Wednesday, it won a stunning legal victory at the High Court, which it hoped would secure its future. Yet just a day later, all children's heart surgery in Leeds was suspended. The NHS medical director, Sir Bruce Keogh, said he'd been forced to act after three senior consultants, none from Leeds, had raised serious concerns. On the day of the hospital's court victory, a cardiologist contacted Sir Bruce with raw data suggesting death rates at Leeds were twice the national average and rising, and two surgeons endorsed suspicions that Leeds was not referring complex cases to other centres with better expertise and raised worries about staffing levels. The public would expect me to act when given this kind of information, irrespective of how inconvenient it is for me personally or how awkward it is or how suspicious it looks. The safety of children and the safety of people seeking services from our NHS has to be absolutely paramount. <laughs> Jackie Scott's six-year-old son Cameron was born with a heart defect. He's already had surgery at Leeds and may require it again soon. Now she feels in limbo. I would take Cameron anywhere, you know, for the best possible service. But for us, we're already getting that service at Leeds and I don't feel we're going to get a better service going elsewhere. The release of mortality figures, which have yet to be analysed, has been decried by Dr John Gibbs, the head of the cardiac database. In a leaked email, he said, I am truly appalled that this has happened in this way, adding, it rings of politics rather than proper process. The review at Leeds is expected to take three weeks, and in the meantime, children needing heart surgery will be sent to other centres in England. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.